Hey everyone, Mr. Macintosh here, and Apple just announced macOS Sonoma, the latest operating system for Macs. And I know one of the first questions that you're going to have is, is it compatible with my Mac model? Well, I'm going to show you that and the list of Macs that Apple dropped from the compatibility list. Plus, I'm going to go over some points on the Open Core Legacy Patcher future with macOS Sonoma next. As Apple launched the brand new macOS Sonoma preview website, they show all of the new features of macOS Sonoma. So I'll put a link in the description so you can go here so you can check out all the new exciting features. But one of the most important parts is all the way at the bottom. We want to know if my Mac model is compatible with the latest version of macOS Sonoma. So once we get to the bottom here, you can see that we've got a big image right here if my Mac is compatible with macOS Sonoma. And you can notice right off the bat, if you're familiar with macOS the list is smaller. So let me pull that up on the side here. When we look at the list of compatible Ventura Macs, we can see some Macs were already dropped off this list. First casualty, unfortunately, is the 2017 iMac. It is not compatible with Mac or Sonoma. Now, if you have an iMac Pro, it made the cut this year, which is really great because that's a very powerful Mac and it should be on this list. So that's great that that's there. Next, we move to MacBook Air. It is the same as last year, 2018 or later. Everybody for MacBook Air made the cut for this year for Sonoma. Now we go to MacBook Pro. Last year, it was a huge hit. We lost the 2016 MacBook Pro. A lot of users had that model and they were pretty upset when that was dropped. Unfortunately, this year, 2017 did not make the cut and only MacBook Pro 2018 or later is compatible with macOS Sonoma. Now we move over to Mac Pro. That's going to be on the list. We don't even have a question about that. Mac Studios on the list. Now we get to Mac Mini. 2018 did make the cut, which is really good because again, that's still a very powerful little desktop computer. And finally, we got our final cut, the 12 inch 2017 Mac is fully non-compatible with Mac OS Sonoma. So if you think about it, not too bad this year. Uh, compared to last year, only three models were dropped off this year for support. So it's it's still not the greatest because they're those machines are still good. Like the 2017 MacBook Pro can totally run Sonoma, but Apple decided it was not going to make the cut this year. So that's the full list for Mac OS Sonoma. Now we're going to talk about Open Core Legacy Patcher. Now, if you're not familiar with Open Core Legacy Patcher, it is a open source software that allows you to install the latest version of macOS on your older unsupported Macs. So for example, if you have one of those 2017 Macs that's not compatible anymore, you're hoping that maybe future support will be added into Open Core Legacy Patcher, but it's still brand new and it's unsure if the support is going to be built in for the latest machines. The developers are gonna jump in right away and start looking at all the pieces involved. Now, what I recommend is not trying to install the latest version of Open Core Legacy Patcher with with your unsupported Mac in Sonoma right now until we get proper support. And you can see right in here that the recommendation is, is to stay on the latest version of macOS Big Sur, Monterey, and macOS Ventura until full support into the public is brought to Open Core Legacy Patcher. If you got any questions, let me know in the comments and what you think about how Apple dropped off all the 2017 models for this year's support for macOS Sonoma.